Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kunal Patel and today I am starting a new video series that is based on the NumPy array, right? So let's first of all start with the introduction that what is NumPy. So NumPy is a general purpose array processing library for the Python programming language, right? And it's adding support for large and multi-dimensional array and matrices so here in this you can understand that we are majorly going to deal with the arrays and matrices right it is also used to solve the scientific or mathematical problems and it provides the great support along with the large collection of high level mathematical functions so we are also going to discuss various functions and uh, how the numpy is uh, making our task very easy with the use of that functions right uh, as some of you know that the very well known scientific languages are like a matlab right and algol and fortran right so these are the very popular scientific languages okay which uh, provides the same purpose right so uh, first of all we start with the difference between list and numpy array here right so there is main uh, only one main difference between list and numpy array is that array is a data structure that stores the value of same data type right and in a list it contains the different data types right so in python you might have learned that uh, how the list is working so in list you can provide the string numeric values and as well but in array you can only provide the same data type right so according to your situation you can use any of it right but here as a topic we are going to discuss only the numpy array okay now uh, in many of the tutorials you have heard about and in the books you read about that numpy is very efficient right so here are some reasons why the numpy is very efficient okay right so you can go through this and you will find the various reasons why the numpy is very efficient but uh, due to the time limit here i'm directly jumping on to the example okay that uh, how this particular numpy is very powerful you can see that right so here uh, we are taking import numpy as np this is aliasing technique now onwards our numpy is known as the np right so in this example i'm creating one array of uh, some uh, you can say value right suppose say for take the one lakh okay or you can also go for the one million right and I'm also creating one list of one lakh values, right? That list of range into one lakh. Okay, so what it will do, it will create one array that is one vector. You can also say it is a vector of one lakh values and one list of one lakh values, right? So now I'm just simply showing you how much time it takes to calculate some mathematical function so here we are going to uh, multiply this data structures by 10 each value right so here for as uh, in my jupyter notebook tutorial video series i have explained you if you want to calculate the execution time for the particular loop then how you can calculate so you can go for the time command okay after that i am writing a for loop here i am not going for the iterations uh, means iterator value variable so i am putting just dash you can find it out how dash works on internet okay it is the concept of python right then i am just uh, multiplying the first 10 rows by 10 right and after that i'm just putting the separator like to differentiate that and now 
I'm going to calculate the execution time for the list. So for in the range of first time rows and 10 times this loop is going to be executed in simple word you can say that right here i'm going to use a list comprehension concept so x multiplied by 10 for x in a list right okay so uh what this program will do 10 times the loop is going to be executed and each and every time it will multiply the numbers by 10 right so let's execute the particular loop and see the execution time difference between the array that is numpy and the list okay okay right so now here you can see that there is a vast difference between the execution time so the same operation numpy will perform in 1.22 milliseconds whereas the list is taking uh, that uh, time 76.4 milliseconds so it's a very huge difference between the execution time that's why you can say that the particular numpy is a faster right and that's why it is a very popular uh, in a machine learning and all that because at that we are going to deal with the large amount of data right and in that the processing speed is one of the major factor right so i hope you like you can understand this uh, particular concept introduction of numpy in my next video we are going to see how you can create the arrays using numpy and how you can access the elements right so please stay tuned to my channel and please subscribe for more recent and updated videos okay take care bye